In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to delete WordPress categories. This is part of the WordPress skills playlist. There's a link to that in the description down below. If you want to check out all the WordPress skills videos, I can guarantee you're going to learn something new in that playlist. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below as well. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. We are currently on a child category page, meaning this category is a subcategory of a different one. In this case, the plank is a subcategory of the category of exercise, and it's also listed on the right-hand side in the sidebar here under the plank. We want to delete this for this video. So if we go into the dashboard and then posts and categories, we will see a list of all of our categories right over here. And all of them, as you hover over them, you'll see delete. If we click on delete, it'll give you a warning. You're about to delete these items from your site. This action cannot be undone. Cancel the stop, okay to delete. Click okay. And now the category of the plank has been deleted and the post that was associated with that category still exists. It's just the category that's, that's deleted. So even if we delete this uh, exercise category that currently has three posts, those posts will still be there. They're not deleted, it's just the category is deleted. Then you can make a new category to add those posts to if you wanted. If a category already gets traffic from search engines, you wanna make sure you do a 301 redirect after you delete it. So for example, that plank category, if we wanna delete it, Maybe we're making a new version of it or we're just getting rid of it and the exercise category is gonna stay the main category. You wanna do 301 redirects from the old, the plank category to the exercise category or the new version of whatever category you're making. To do that, I linked to two tutorials in the card above and the description down below to help you do 301 redirects because you don't wanna lose that traffic. You don't wanna have 404s generated when you don't need to. You wanna redirect that traffic somewhere functional for your visitors. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. You can also delete more than one category at once. Just check the boxes of the categories you want to delete or check this box right here that will select all the categories except for uncategorized. Go to bulk actions, delete, and then apply. So why does uncategorized not have a delete option? It's because WordPress requires there to be at least one category, and by default, that one category is uncategorized. But we can change that. If we go into settings and then writing, our default post category is uncategorized. We can change that to exercise or anything else. Any category on your site could be the, the default. Click on save changes. Now if we go to posts and categories, we are now able to delete the uncategorized category but we can't delete exercise because exercise is our default. We have to have at least one category on the site. Next, check out the WordPress skills playlist right up here. I can guarantee you're gonna learn something new. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.